Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the most overpowered run scheme in the entire game. But before I do, if you guys want to see more gameplay videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'm using Alabama once again because I'm trying to promote my new Alabama offensive ebook. To me, this is one of the best offenses in the entire game. And I also know it's one of the most used teams in the entire game. So I figured that's a perfect marriage. So if you guys need more help or more money plays, you can download this or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top end comment the offense that i'm going to show you guys again today is once again the gun trips to you as i've been showing this in gameplay pretty much all week but today i'm going to focus on the run plays this is one of the best running formations in the entire game starting off with my audible plays which is typically going to be the rpo rewind flat since i want that bubble screen option but this is a very good run play as well the 45 quick base is going to be my choice for an inside runner though you can also use the inside zone and the pa shot wheel is pretty much going to be the most important pass play this is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game which i already broke down in a video on Monday. So if you guys want to see more about this play and how to beat every single defense with it, I'll have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. I also keep the PA slot corner in my audibles because I just want a good passing concept. And for my fifth and active play, probably the most important play which today's video is about is the QB zone. The reasons to figure out which run play to use are very simple. As you can see, this formation here a lot of times will pull the linebacker out of the middle of the field, leaving a wide open gap here for this run play. Now I can either run this RPO play or I can switch over to the 45 quick base which is designed to have better blocking in general based on the fact that there is no passing option. And you also get a pulling guard which is going to act like your lead blocker. As you can see once I start the play that he's right there in front of me in front of a huge hole. And since I didn't get the first down I'm going to use the turbo adjustment to basically hurry this up and try to get a blocking advantage as it's designed to give you a blocking advantage. It's something I went over in a previous video. But you can see that you only have two run play options. So make sure that you have your read wide flat and your 45 quick base as your top two audibles so that you have the ability to use these two plays as we pick up the first down an easier way to read this is those two plays are going to be best against zone coverages while against man coverage the qb zone is going to be the best and that's because all the cornerbacks are on the side where all the receivers are so since there's nobody outside of the b tight end here anytime i see this edge and i know that i can get to it i'm going to call this play i'm going to run it right away and you can see the only person that has a chance at stopping this play is the safety and he makes the stop this time, but I'll take that one-on-one -on -one opportunity all game. I make a bad read on second down, so when I get to third and sixth, you would think it's a passing down, but when I see that huge hole over the middle once again, I decide to go right back to the 45 quick base, as I know from experience that I should have space. But Texas does a really good job here of stopping that inside, and this cornerback almost fills as I take it outside to make a hell of a play to get a first down. I call the verticals play on the next play, and my adjustment for this offense is really just to put the running back into a out route, as this running back's going to get open against just about any man or zone. So on the next play, we just take that underneath, and this is another extension of the run game, as we're really just working the running back pretty much the entire way down the field. On the next play, anytime I see this linebacker not in the middle of the field, and I see a cornerback on the outside like I do here, I know that it's a zone play. If it was a man play, the cornerback would be in front of the receiver. But since I have a linebacker in front of the receiver, I know it's probably a matching zone coverage. So I switch to the read RPO Y flat as all I really have to do is watch the defender in front of this receiver And if he doesn't drop down like he predictably doesn't do here I can just kick it out to this guy and have a very easy catch and run and from here It's just rinse and repeat as you can see there's so much space No second level defenders because of the spread of this formation as we get another good run on the next play When we come to the line of scrimmage It looks like he's in a man zero blitz and this is the perfect defense to run the QB zone against as there's nothing outside here And we just get a walk-in touchdown from about 20 yards out on defense, I'm using the same cover three match that I used in yesterday's gameplay. So if you guys want to learn more about this, I'll have links in the description. It was on screen at the end of the video.
before most of my opponent's success is going to come from the running back, as this guy will use this guy relentlessly in both the pass game and the run game, as he almost gets a first down, and he probably should have stuck with the run game, gotcha, bitch. as he throws an interception on the very next play, and we were one guy away from taking it to the house. No big deal though, as when we're back on offense, we see that man coverage defense one more time, and we make the safety miss this time to get another big run play with our quarterback, as the blocking on this play is just relentless. On the next play, he tries to shift in that direction, but it doesn't matter, because because we're getting the edge. And even though the running back didn't help me out, I make that guy miss, and we almost take it to the house again. Before my opponent crowd surfs over a Texas defender for the score. And I don't know how we got that in, but I'll take it. Back on defense, we're dialing up the heat as my opponent is trying to basically hit nothing but screen plays. He gets the next one off and gets a couple of yards to make it a third and short. So on third down, we're watching any potential drags, and I couldn't believe he threw that ball. Got he! And we're going the other way with a somewhat slow defender as we barely get around the quarterback who takes a slightly bad angle to punch it in and take a 21-0 lead. And I don't know if it's the fact that I'm up 21 nothing with a minute before half, but my opponent really starts to put his offense together as he basically just hits the running back on a wheel route on the next three plays to get all the way down the field. As it feels like the people in the Heisman division are mostly just stick work monsters. As this guy's really a chore to tackle in the open field before he hits that screen play one more time. Damn it! He gets the ball back in the start of the second half too, and now he's pretty much only running double drags and screen plays. That's it. Two of the harder to stop concepts if you run them right. But he's still doing the most damage with the running back, as he probably has one of the higher agilities on the field. And now my defense is just falling asleep out here. Either that, or this game has a keep it close mechanic, which is something that is available and has been for years in Madden. Before he gets all the way down the field, and we get him to a fourth and two, but he punches it in anyway. And our lead evaporates just like that, but he hasn't figured out how to stop this run play yet. Could you please just give me a minute? Before we get in field goal range in just one play, and now he's trying to use that defensive end. But that's just hopeless. Now up two scores, we're keying in on the running back, as we're not going to let this man single-handedly bring him back down two scores. As he tries to go back to that wheel route. No! Before he switches it up on fourth down to a Texas route, and his entire offense drops the ball with the game on the line. <laughs> but he hasn't quit yet, and on the next play, I see that he's in an obvious zone coverage, so we switch that RPO, and we score on the very next play from about 20 yards out to make it a three touchdown lead once again. <laughs> And when I see him go to the pause screen, I know he's about to quit, so I hurry up to see the rushing stats from Jalen Milrow, only to see that I'm averaging about 19 yards a carry with my quarterback on this run, as we get 166 yards on only 9 tugs. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more from this offense or from this defense that I use in this gameplay, I'll have them both pop up on screen. So just click links, and until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.